as I was working with the fixation. And what I started to see is like fixating is, is something that's happening almost outside of the sensation or it's not necessarily part of the sensation. It's like how the body or the system is responding to the sensation by constantly monitoring it. So what I notice is that, you know, once you have people turn awareness towards the monitoring movement and not focusing so much on the sensation, but just being aware and present to how the consciousness wants to narrow its focus to monitor that area. So just watching the monitoring, literally watching it from awareness, from a quiet mind, just watching it will actually diminishes its power. So over time, as you're watching the fixation, I mean, it starts like it wants to do this, like it wants to fix it. There's something wrong here and I got to focus on it. But as you watch it, that movement starts to slow down over time because it's like being it's like being brought into the light of awareness, that movement. And then as it really starts to slow down, you start to get pain relief because the fixating is part of the reason that there's a chronic pain there. It's a chronic fixation. So as the fixation, the chronic fixation starts to relax, so does the pain. So that's one thing I'm working with people, regardless of whether they have pain in one place that's fixed or moving, it works either way if there's a fixating or a... And the same is true with, when I say fixating, I also mean just resistance. And that's a word that I think people may be more familiar with. And, 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 and it works the same way. So if I have a physical pain in my chest, um, if I'm not comfortable calling it fixation, um, is there resistance to it? You know, it's like, is there some, is the system fighting against it? Um, it although that sounds rational, my system is fighting against it because it wants to get, what happens is that, that resistance starts to amp up. Actually, the pain can get worse. It doesn't get better. The insight that there's something there and that I have to fix it can lead to more pain <laughs> and if you don't actually start to see what is going on. Um, and one of the things that's going on is we are, when we're against something, it's harder for that thing to heal. Like when we, t right? we take a psychological stance or an emotional stance against something, it's just, it's, again, it's two opposing forces trying you know trying to work something out what i noticed is when i would actually again just with resistance um when i would just allow the resistance fully i would notice however it comes up and just literally watch it and allow it it too would diminish over time mm -hmm. and then as it would diminish i would get pain relief so these are the ways that i've been able to function is to get without having to take a whole lot of controlled substances which i'll talk about in a second because I mm -hmm. had to take two for a while. Mm -hmm. but these are the ways that I've been engaging in harm reduction to bring the body into a state where I can actually be in it, so to speak, <laughs> where I can actually physically be in my skin and sit in one place. These are the mm -hmm. things that have helped. Things that can help people. I mean, if, if anybody out there is listening and you have fixed pain in a certain location, just come to me and talk to me about that because we've, we have the, I'll just quite frankly, we've developed a method for fixed pain location that works really well to reduce pain. Hello, this is Lynn Fraser with the Killaby Center Radical Recovery Summit. We are so excited to bring you the lineup for January 10th to 19th, 2020. Go to RadicalRecoverySummit.com to see the new headliners for 2020 and to sign up. You can watch free January 10th to 19th or buy an all-access pass.